What's happening guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Today we've got a Grail shoe review. As you can probably tell by the packaging, you know what shoe is coming out of this box. I'm so excited, managed to uh, pick this up and uh, you know, we traveled like 25 miles, you know, um, to get these shoes. But I'll tell you what, it was definitely worth the journey. I'm so excited. As you know, like, you know, this shoe is a Grail. The uh, Jordan Newlands came out like uh, with the Jordan 1 silhouette a couple of years ago actually and since then, like you know, the shoe has just been going up in StockX and other places in this valley. So it's a very sought after shoe by Hypebeast and we've managed to add this to our collection. I can't really tell you like in words how much this means to our collection. It's, you know, it means a lot really. And I uh, just want to thank you guys for supporting us, for watching the videos, for sharing, for liking them, for hitting the bell notifications. You know, all these subscribers that have supported me from social media, I really value you guys. And there's a, what I can say is like, you know, um, since the Corona, I've seen our business actually soar and climb up like never before. And I just want to thank God for that as well. You know, um, anything, you know, that we do wouldn't be possible without him. So anyways, so excited. Without any further ado, you know, probably seen the slow motion clips as well. So, you know, the covering or the plastic cover inside the shoe is a very special shoe. It's, this shoe was quite expensive. Retail, I think it was 205, no, £210. And uh, managed to get some resell, and I think I got it for a very good steal as well. So, this shoe, a lot of people are sitting selling for quite a low price in the probably mid fives. This shoe in the next couple of years will go up to over a thousand pounds, provided you got the right size. So, mark my words, guys, if you're a reseller, hold these shoes if you can afford to. If you can't, then oh well, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, anyways, let me start waffling, guys. So, I'm just going to show you this shoe. So, you got this packaging. Um, over there, so that says Union in that case of, I believe that's obviously Michael Jordan. And this shoe, I think it's linked to The Last Dance on Netflix. If you haven't seen The Last Dance on Netflix, make sure you watch that. It's so, so good. Word of you know, I'm not even telling you the lie. It's really, I'm not even telling you a lie. It's really, honestly guys, trust me, yeah. It's quite a good, uh, quite a good series. So yes, um, so you get that and let's see. So you get a blue, it's, I think it's almost like a, a UNC sort of blue which pays homage to Michael Jordan's college um, in North Carolina. So that's pretty nice as well. So that's the lead. So I'm going to show you the packaging. So the packaging is quite sick as well. So I'm just going to raise it like so. Actually, can you guys see it properly? So you can see like it's a, uh, let me just bring it closer. So that's the packaging there, it's very special. I've not seen a Jordan like this before. So you've got Michael Jordan, obviously. It is famous. Uh, in his famous uh, vest and I don't know it seems to be getting passed on something someone's passing on like somebody's passing on something to him so it's quite a nice little packaging there very special then you get like your normal white packaging nothing special about it then you get the shoes as well so I'm going to take out the shoes and the extra laces boy I'm so excited I'm so excited Right, I'm just going to shut this like so, then I'm going to show you guys the shoes. Right, let's put the box on the bottom there. And boom. Boom. What do you guys think? Beautiful, right? Very beautiful. I've actually seen online people actually uh, peeling that off. Just taking the thread off actually um, to reveal the other stuff other lettering behind there and yeah it's a nice little feature now okay so i'm going to speak about the jordan 4 as a silhouette first of all i don't mean to dampen this video or you know how happy i feel but with the jordan 4 i've had a few before in the past and i'm not a fan of this this always catches you sometimes you know i find like you know if you don't wear jeans or you wear shots that always catches you so make sure you I beg your pardon make sure you wear like either long pants or some jeans and as a silhouette as well, it's quite a nice silhouette. I feel like people don't tend to uh, really uh, buy a lot of these unless it's properly hyped. Um, I don't know why, but I think it's a beautiful silhouette. I can't fault it, honestly. It's very, it's very timeless. We've seen uh, a lot of collaborations. We've seen, for me, I'll probably say my all-time favorite Jordan 4 collaboration is the Cause Great Edition. Like that shoe, I still want to get it as part of my collection. That shoe, I think is absolute fire. Then I'll probably say Travis Scott's The Blue Ones. 
and my second. So, and these are probably my third as well. And I know a lot of us didn't get the Jordan 1 Unions, so that's why I actually went for these as well. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful shoe, so we'll start with the we'll start with the video, guys. So first things first, obviously you've got this over here. Now I've got a question for you guys. Would you take this off or would you keep it on? I mean, at some point it's bound to come off as well, but would you take it off or keep it on? I'd probably keep it on myself as well. It's a, then again, like also a UNC colorway, which pays homage to Michael Jordan's college basketball team, which is quite a nice little touch. And then, so you've got the, uh, we'll start with the heel. So the heel or the sole, why do I call it heel? So we'll start with the sole, guys. So the sole, is a, it's like a lemony sort of like, it's like a lemon color. Then the sole, it's got the blue on, on the middle there. Then you've got the black as well on the front. I like how the Nike's actually like a red, but it's not really like a bright red. It's a sort of like, a, you know, it's a lesser, brighter color. So it's pretty nice as well. It's not in your face. This shoe, I think the colors are very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're very understated. They're not too bright because I think it's more of a, an all season shoe. So you don't want to like, have bright colors because then it limits when you can wear them to summertime, if you know what I mean. And so we'll start also with the front. So you've got this sort of like uh, meshy, I don't know, would, you, would you call this meshy? So you got this material on the front there, guys. I'm not a pro at speaking phrases, so I just go as I, as I go. So yeah, learn fast. So you got this sort of like meshy material over here and that's for your ventilation. It's very, uh, it's very soft. I wouldn't want to get wet in these shoes because I think that actually, lets, I, I think it's porous. And then you get this uh, on the front as well. You get this kind of like netty, like, you know, um, waxy sort of like materials also on the sides as well. Then you get this clear plastic on the side as well. There's quite a few plastics as well. So bearing in mind, if you're going to wear these shoes quite a lot, these parts are going to start to wear off as well. So I think it's a once in a year type of shoe that you'll put on for your best event probably for me i'll probably wear that uh, going to your sneaker con in the uk you know and uh, then you get this suede material as well which is very beautiful and with suede as well you have to make sure you get the right product so you can clean it properly i've seen people with suede shoes that can't maintain them guys this is not for you definitely not for you and then we also come to this sides over here you've got this uh blue but it's not like a baby blue it's a sort of a darker blue and it's a very very beautiful beautiful shoe and obviously you've got this part in the back which i don't like as well i don't like how they put nike a here i think it's a bit tacky i've seen like a lot of chaps where like you know nike air maxis and all that stuff and i think it just makes it so tacky so i think if nike would have actually put like maybe air jordan that would be much better or either put the wings of uh the air jordan logo on there that would have been fantastic I always do critique shoes, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to try and just, you know, act as if I'm trying to get a sponsorship deal. And so how is the heel? The heel's not the best, I'm not going to lie. This is not a shoe that you wear, like, a long distance. And I always say, like, Jordans, when it comes to the heel, they do make shoes, like, you know, you know, for that. But when it comes to, like, a lot of these, like, Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, you'll find that the heel is not too comfortable to walk over a mile. And also, yeah, I wouldn't get this, you know, um, for walking. I'd put them in the glass cabinet and bring it out like on a special occasion and you also get this bubble material there as well so if it pops then you're in trouble and let's see what else you've got so we'll look at the inside as well i'm actually uh particularly drawn to the heel sorry to the tongue what is wrong with me today what is wrong with me so i'm drawn to the uh to the uh to the tongue on the inside of the tongue as i've said i've actually seen quite a lot of people like cut off the thread in there and actually peel this off as well it reveals something behind it as well the inside is just not special now one thing i'll say I, with all my jordan fours i find like you know this part over here see that yeah this part over here over time you find like you know it actually breaks and once it breaks it just destroys the whole shoe so i think jordan's should jordan four should be made in, in a better way they should learn i feel like they don't learn or they just don't want to invest money or they just want you to keep spending more and more and more so if you're going to wear these shoes quite a lot just know that this material here will start to 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 break or cut off easily as well so yes guys um uh what else what else should i say then also the uh the laces as well they've only got the yellow laces just one pair of laces that is quite lazy for me i'd probably say um with these i'd wear them with 
either some white laces have like one white lace over there and probably have one orange one as well i think that's how i'd wear them but you're gonna play with laces and just see how you how, see, see see your style and yeah figure yourself figure yourself out so i'm just gonna sign up guys now and just say you know what i appreciate you guys for watching my videos for supporting me and like always don't forget to like to share to subscribe and i'm trying to find my remote control so i can stop this recording i don't know where i've put it Oh, I better just do like a quick video, guys. So a lot of things are just not as normal. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the button there and just say, smell you later. Oh, guys, by the way, how do you like my fit? How do you like my uh, essentials hoodie? Fantastic. I do love it. Don't forget the video for this is out now already. So just make sure you hit the channel. Yeah, check the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Yeah, it's all right.